First off, in a bit of surprising news, Derek Carr is officially listed as questionable. He has been limited for the last two practices after hurting his back last week. It would be surprising to see him play this week after a 2-6 to six week diagnosis. He is very ahead of schedule though, but it might be better off to hold him off this week. Players are able to talk themselves into playing, but my guess is he sits this game. David Amerson is still going through concussion protocol. He has been limited throughout the week and it will be a game time decision if he plays. He has been struggling, but this is his second concussion of the season. That is scary. His health comes first, but he seems well on his way back. Jack Del Rio says it's up to the medical guys to clear him, and my guess is, he plays. In good news, Amari Cooper, Michael Crabtree, and Mario Edwards Jr. are all good to go. They were limited early in the week, but were taken off the final injury report. Cooper has been struggling, and hopefully this is the game he gets back on track. Crabtree has been the number one receiver, and he could be a big help for EJ Manuel. Edwards was a bit of a surprise on the injury report. He didn't participate on Wednesday, but was a full go the rest of the way. Let's hope he continues his hot streak. The biggest surprise was Gabe Jackson. He has had a foot injury and missed practice on Wednesday and Thursday. He hasn't had the best start to a season along with the rest of the offensive line. He's limited on Friday and my guess is he won't play. He's missed too much practice and will likely be replaced by John Feliciano. DeAndre Washington has been limited by a hamstring injury and was limited throughout the week. My guess is he plays. He's usually on a limited snap count anyway, but he might be limited even more. For the Ravens, the big absence will be Brandon Williams. He's a key clog in the middle of the defensive line and that could help out the Raiders in the run game. The Raiders need to dominate the line of scrimmage to help out EJ Manuel. The Ravens defense is still formidable, but the line isn't as good without Brandon Williams. Defensive backs Jimmy Smith and Ladarius Webb are both officially questionable for the game. They are part of a good Ravens secondary and are too valuable. They didn't practice very much this week, but I'm guessing they will play. They will make it very difficult for the Raiders receivers to bounce back. The big injury news are the tight ends. Benjamin Watson knows how to play football, but didn't practice outside of Friday. Max Williams, the other tight end, is going to be out this game. Joe Flacco loves his tight ends, and the Raiders have not been good at covering tight ends historically. If both tight ends aren't able to play, this could have a dramatic effect on the game. For the prediction, the Raiders might be without their starting quarterback, but they're still favorites. This game will be a defensive struggle with both offenses failing to get in rhythm. In the end, I have the Raiders winning this game. It will be a close game with both teams letting the game come down to the wire. The Raiders are at home, which is why I had them winning 13-7.